Hello and welcome to Architeasy. In this Revit tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create this structure like it's done on the Martha's Vineyard, it's designed by Norman Foster Architects and yeah, I will be using the simplest method I know. This is not going to take a lot, this is going to be very quick as usual. Again I am going to use Revit 2024, you can use any of the releases you have installed so let's just move to Revit and enjoy. I'm using new metric template so the first thing I'm going to do will be to create those frames and you know you can make it in a couple of ways you can make it as a model in place i'm going to use a wall in this case we'll take this one of 100 and we'll just go to the south view so we can make this to go to the second level and yeah now i will just select this wall we go to edit profile and we'll edit its profile Let's just make the offset of, I don't know, 300. And if you go to the picture, we see that the bottom parts are a bit narrower. So I'm going to fix it. Actually, let's make the offset of 150 here and then here as well. And then let's connect. Let's do the same here. And let's just check in 3D what do we have. Okay, this seems fine. I will turn off annotation categories. I would like to have just the model things here. And now I will go to the south elevation. And what I'm going to do is what I need to create is those planks over here so I'm going firstly to create the roof by extrusion we'll pick this north south I mean the reason why I'm picking north south you see that our wall is aligned to that one and then if I select this reference plane you see that it's the north south so again I will go to the roof roof by extrusion and that's the reason why I was picking north south it could go to level 2 and then I will just take let's say 150 as the offset or so something like this and again if you go here we see that our roof do not go all the way down so what I can do I can just select this and then I will drag it up to here something like this or it go a bit more up this is fine and then this one a little bit we'll click ok and we'll make this to be let's say 3 meters the extension what I don't like is the cut so instead of having this plump cut I will have this to cut so you see how it ends and now comes the main thing so I need to change the roof and its type so what I'm going to do is to add the slope glazing. I'm going to duplicate this one. For the panel, I'm going to place the empty panel. Actually, we will have no panel. And then for the second grid, I'm going to use maximal spacing. We'll put 300 for now, just to see how it's going to look like. And then we'll take this 65 by, by 125. Mullion. Avoid this. Okay, so this seems fine. What I can do is actually go to 150 here, so to make it more dense. And this seems fine. And what we have to do right now, we can just select the roof and select our wall. And I'm just going to copy this one for 3.1 meters. And you know, I can do it a couple of times. And let's say when I'm done with copying, what I have to do is just to select one of the walls and copy just this last wall. 
So you see how it looked like. I mean, as I said, as I promised, it was really few minutes. It was very quick and the fast way. And of course, you can continue to develop this one. You can, if you want, change the profile, create a new one, etc. If you find this useful, just like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.